So it's like, I don't, I don't even know where to start. It's just bullshit. It's all fucked up. I want to find one where she's talking about selling Percocet. Shit crazy. Go down. It's why I keep smoking this. She should have named every single one else so we knew which ones they were. I don't understand why she don't call my phone making voice now. Why are you listening to that? You hear this shit? She did it almost first off. Like, almost out here. Yeah, it's this morning. I have the date. I have the date. She's lying. I have the date. I will send it to your phone, Cortland. Dude, I don't care what your date says. Why does all this matter? Why because why is she starting drama with me? She record my daughter crying and make me fucking sad because I can't see her. It's so fucked up. It's just crazy. This one is. Man, I swear to God, if Taylor gave me a chance, I'd be the best father in the world. I promise you. I, I mean, maybe not the best in the world because I, I don't know what the best in the world is, but I promise you I'd try. Like, I swear to God I would. But every time she sets up a date for us to come to get her, she has an excuse and then Janelle can never come because she's so scared Jaja's going to fall in love with a different girl other than her mom, which would never happen. She's got to get over it, and it's not fair that she can't keep me from my daughter just because I'm with Janelle, and that's fucked up. And y'all see all the pictures I posted me with my little girl, so I did see her at one time. You know, I have proof. I am a good fucking father. It's like now, since I'm with Janelle, she's taking me. That's why y'all don't see me in no recent pictures, because I'm with Janelle now. And y'all can sit and sit here and believe Taylor if you want to. It's cool. I don't care. She's trying to get fame. Come, come down to Brunswick County and see her lifestyle. Go into a McDonald's two blocks from her house and ask somebody that works in there, some random person, her, her name, and see what they say. Like, see what it's really about. I, I ain't even got to say, you can't believe me, then fucking come find for yourself. I'm really actually a great guy. I got a great heart. I did used to have a bunch of problems in my past. I did, but everybody has. And I've learned from them. I mean, there ain't nothing else I can do about that. I can't change nothing in the past. And if I keep dealing with the past, it's going to mess up my present, which is going to destroy my future. So I don't live in the past, and like I always say that. And everybody keeps bringing it up, and it's bullshit. Because there's nothing I can do about the drugs I've done in my past, or the, the crimes I've committed, or anything wrong that I've done. Because it's, it was experimentation. Some of it I got addicted to. I can't help it, but it's done now. And what matters is how I am now and the integrity that I have upon myself now and what I do right now when nobody's looking that's what counts you know I got a stack of money in my pocket right now and I do not have no drugs because I don't do drugs I'm not high right now I'm not gonna get on stick them in front of the whole world high period first off second off I don't do drugs right now I don't want to I'm trying to actually start my life with my wife get our house together which we're doing do everything that we can to just get our, our lives in order and have it all straight and then I'm going to try to take, like, some type of action on getting my daughter back or some type of custody since Taylor can't be civil about this and wants to start all this bullshit to get attention. See, like, I'm married to Janelle, so my attention's going to come. But Taylor's trying to beg for it right now. And she's using my daughter against me. And half of the people watching right now, it's sad because y'all believe her. And, like, that's cool. You can believe her. But I'm an innocent father 
and they, out of all these fathers in Brunswick County that do not want nothing to do with their kids, I'm actually one of the ones that do, and I don't get the chance to, and that's fucked up, and it's really fucked up, and no, I ain't just saying this to no scream, I don't know any of y'all personally, and y'all don't know me, I'm just telling y'all straight up, y'all can believe the facts, or you can come find the facts, because like, if you come see it for yourself, you'll see, it, it ain't even like how she makes any of it to look out to be. Look at all them pictures. Yeah, right. Look at all them pictures. <laughs> look at all them pictures of me and Jaja of her growing up. Since when she had no hair, when she started growing hair, you know, I, I've been in her life, and now there's no recent pictures. Why is that? Because I'm with you now. And she says that's not the reason. She said I've never been there. I can I can upload a thousand pictures of me and Jordan in the same picture. So it's like don't she can't sit here and say I'm a deadbeat. I'm not no damn deadbeat. And, 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 and people telling me that don't hurt my feelings because I know I'm not a deadbeat. <laughs> it like you're so it's, it's all good. <laughs> like, there's nothing wrong with my half on that. I tried to be civil with her. Even Kristen, her sister, is like, I'm okay with right now. I don't know if she's talking shit about me right now or not. I don't care. Can this... Because I wouldn't want her to tell all mine, even though she already does. But I'm not like that, Taylor, because I know you're watching this right now. So, listen to me when you st when that, whenever I say this. Like, this is all bullshit. You are bullshit, Taylor. You post some crazy shit. You start some crazy shit. You recorded my mom on this. I have a three-minute conversation of you recording my mother. Are you fucking crazy? Really? Okay. Interesting. You are crazy. Crazy as fuck. And everybody says Janelle's a bad person and a bad mom. Really? Alright, cool. We see Jace every single day, at least once a day. He lives 10 minutes from where we are. We pass their road, his mom, her mom's road, like seven times a day. Sometimes we'll go over there three times. Like, today we went over there twice. Like, I mean, we go over there all the time. I love him to death. I even got Spider-Man chilling up top in my room for when he comes over so he knows the deal. I don't know if you can see that or not. But it's like that we, we spend so much time with him. And she does everything she can. And she can't help that whenever she first got on this show that she was young and that her mom, you know, got on and took rights and all this shit of Jace. Right now that doesn't mean that she's a bad, a bad mom because she doesn't have Jace. She ain't had Jace her, his whole life. That doesn't mean she's a bad mom, that she's lazy and just out partying. We're not partying right now. We post party pictures on New Year's and Christmas and holidays. We don't party every night. Janelle's not a bad person. So for all the haters on that shit, fuck y'all too. Because that's bullshit. Y'all have this girl crying sometimes here. And she don't deserve none of that. She loves every single one of her fans. And I say fans because she's got fans. I might not. I might not. I don't care. I didn't do this for fans. I did this because I love her, but I hate seeing her cry. So to all the ones that make her cry, man, y'all need to chill the fuck out. Because y'all don't really know who she is. Y'all just see how MTV makes her. And, like, that's bullshit. And people saying, calm down. Look, I'm not I'm calm. I'm good. It's just, it's crazy. He talks so much. Yeah, so. every morning I wake up, and I get 5 million messages on Facebook. 25,000 notifications, and then I get on Twitter, and all I see is memory 23, 23, 23. All this bullshit about her, and James Duffy, and, and confidence, or whatever the fuck them keepers is, and all these bullshit ass tweets that I'm not trying to see, and I don't gotta stay on Twitter. Shit, I, I can get on Twitter if I want to. It's not my fault that people hate. I'm just saying, like, I gotta deal with this shit every part of my life, and now it's coming in between me and my daughter, like my little girl. And, like, you know what? She's my little girl. I got her name tatted on my neck. That's, like, right when she was born, tatted on my neck. Not whenever Janelle's here, the TV's around now. I want to act like I care about my kid. Like, I've cared about my kid. I got proof. I got pictures. Pictures is all the proof you need. I got videos on my phone saved, taking her places. You know, I, I've seen her walk. I've brushed her teeth. I've changed her diaper plenty of times. I do the right thing when nobody's looking with my fucking daughter. But now Taylor is on some crazy shit. And nobody believes me when I say that. And everybody's like, why don't you go to court? We're working on that. I just got married. I just did all this. I mean, I'm not saying Taylor's the worst mom in the world. So it ain't like I can't really. I'm scared for the life of my daughter. But I would like to make sure that she's okay and have people check up on her. Because I don't know what the fuck's going on where they're at right now. 
supposedly they're staying at her grandma's house again, and that's like not good for anybody to be staying there at all. And I'm not saying why I'm not no narc or no snitch, and I'm not going to sit here and tell all her business. I'm just going to tell you the facts about that involve me. I haven't seen my daughter except one time in six months because of this chick, and that's and, and she made it look like we kidnapped her. When I got a phone call, I just flew back from New York City because Janelle was filming the reunion with Dr. Drew. This was, what, like a month ago? So I flew back from New York City, and while I was in Atlanta waiting for my plane to come to Wilmington, my sister called me and said, oh, my God, oh, my God, last night, Taylor called me at 2 in the morning and told me to come get Jaja, that she couldn't have her where she was, and my sister said she drove immediately. She said she ain't even put her shirt on. She was in her bra and drove 45 minutes to this house and got my daughter out of it and took her home and that my daughter was there so damn right when I got when I landed on the, off the airplane I went straight to my sisters where my daughter was how is that kidnapping I didn't kidnap shit I picked my daughter up you have, you I, have, have, I have every single right that Taylor has and I, I ain't never abused and I ain't never done nothing and my whole family is good with my daughter and the whole county knows that including state of North Carolina so there's no reason that she should ever go through any of this bullshit except to get attention. She didn't. She didn't worry about none of this. Everything was fine until I, until I started dating dating Janelle, and now I'm married to Janelle, and it's like wow, everything has changed. And look at her Twitter now. She's got like twelve thousand followers. Really? Oh my God! This chick. Yeah. And then like Christmas time. Oh, Jordan wears a size six. And a, a size 2T, like, really, dude? Like, my family got Jordan mad Christmas presents, and she ain't even let us give them to her. But she's got random-ass people on Twitter sending her stuff? That's fucked up. So, Taylor, if you heard that, fuck you for that, too. Cause that's bullshit. And I don't care if any of this goes to court or anything. I, I'm already being capsized to my daughter. I already got her taken from me and, like, illegally being held from me. So it's like, what else do I have to lose? It hurts so fucking bad. And what hurts is every morning when I wash my face, look in the mirror and see Jaja stamped on my fucking neck. I don't forget I have a kid. I know I have one. And I strive to be a dad. So fucking bad. And I want to be because I already am. And I don't have a chance to do it. And it ain't fair. So fuck Taylor. Fuck anybody that likes Taylor. Fuck all that shit. And I'm sorry for the cussing that there's people, kids around and stuff. But it's just not even right. And it's late. I haven't slept in three nights because of this. Because Janelle's upset over it. It's causing problems between my wife and I. It's, it's causing problems between my wife and I. It's causing problems between me and getting to see my kid. Like, the main parts of my heart are getting fucked with right now. And you don't do that shit and get away with it. And no, that's not no threat. I'm not making no promise. I'm not threatening nobody. I'm just saying you don't do that shit and get away with it. That's not how you live, man. That's not the, that's not a definition of life, man. So it is what it is. I'm done talking about that. That's all I said. He's a real function. Oh, he's bad. Oh, he's so well. Love you. Love you, too. Anyways. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, I guess I'm gonna get off. No, I guess I'm gonna get off here. Alright, well, I guess I'm gonna get off here. Um, bye, good night, and we'll be on tomorrow.